What is up guys, Marshall here and welcome back to another Inform Analysis. Today we've got Spurs' new man, signed in January, he's going to sign in the summer anyway, but they got him on a cheap deal and it is Lewis Holtby. Now this is the shout card because it was a while back that he got this Inform, but I thought I'd do a review as he is now at Spurs and is now going to feature a lot in the Premier League. He's 30k on Xbox 360 then, 38 on the PS3, he's got a 4 star week for as well as 4 star skills. Now his card stats look pretty decent, I mean he's got a decent amount of pace, dribbling, passing, that's what you need for a cam, in my eyes anyways. Decent skills, <laughs> decent weak foot, I mean this is, in my eyes, one of the most perfect cams you can get in that position with those stats. Now up front we have two pace demons in Royce and Esuyen. Now everyone's played against Esuyen, he's got a, a low rated card, it's just 75 so it's just hitting the border for a rare gold. But he is so unbelievably fast. Having them two up front with Holtby in just behind. It's basically a match made in heaven. <laughs> Holtby's that good on the ball. He can just put through balls through. He can run beyond. He's got quite a bit of pace as Holtby card. And to be honest that's a great attacking front three. You've got Sam on the right again. More pace. Schweinsteiger in DM. Everyone knows about him. He's got a cracking shot on him by the way. And on the left we have Schiller. So... A very, very solid midfield and strike force so far. This is a German Bundesliga squad in at left back, Christian Panda. Now, I think I can remember him from a few years ago. He's got a crack in left foot, takes three kicks. He's good at long range shots. In at centre back, we've got Hummels and Boateng. Boateng, of course, the former Manchester City player, alongside Hummels, who is gathering his reputation in world football. It's getting better by the week. Honestly, I know Dortmund's a huge club at the minute, but I think he can go that one step further. Maybe Madrid, maybe a Barca. Even in the Premier League, I'd love to see him. We've got Lamet right back and Adler in net. Now, let's get back to Lewis Hoppe, and here are his in-game stats. Very, very promising. <laughs> his ball control is brilliant. Dribbling's good. I mean, 88 dribbling, that's superb for this card. Especially at the price, because his price... I mean, it's bordering the 30k mark right now, and... It's definitely worth it in my eyes. Attack and work rate's high. His defensive work rate's medium. His physical attributes are superb. His agility, balance, that means he, can, he bridges a lot more than normal players. If you come up and there's a challenge coming in, you'll more often than not just knock it past. Now, this is the first game then. Holpe is involved. Nice little ball through to Holpe. And Holpe skins this guy. Two little drag overs there before we well, ball rolls. Nice little ball in a Royce and Royce makes it 2-1. I did come back in that game but Holtby was not involved in any further goals. In the second game then, Holtby's ball. It's Sam on the wing causing confusion. Nice little ball in and it is finished off by Marco Royce. So yet again, he was involved but not directly and that was in the second game. So on to the third game then. Again, Holtby is involved but he's not He's, not, he's getting the ball far too deep for my liking. and it is a nice goal here from Schweinsteiger, but Holpe's getting involved too deep. Simply you can't have the end product. Here he does though. You've seen Schweinsteiger level it at 2-2. 90th minute, it's set up a brilliant finale. End-to-end -end stuff and Holpe nabs the winner. So finally Holpe is on the end of something. <laughs> it's about time. This isn't the third game now. Now with that, I decide to play a fourth simply because I didn't think I'd seen the best of them yet and straight into the second half stonewall penalty it's a terrible challenge up from Mascherano and the referee had to give it if he didn't I would have just rage quit I would have just knocked off the console or something and this penalty I felt sorry for the guy simply because he went the right way if you go the right way if you dive the right way you should always save it but that's just my opinion Anyways, just a few moments later, it is Holpe yet again. He rounds the keeper. It's a nice little chip finish. Holpe is coming into his own in this game. He was superb. By far the best he played. And I was pretty happy that I decided to take it into a fourth game. Great touch again to go around that guy. It was unfortunate with a shot, but SVN did knock it in. Now, he went on to get a hat-trick. He'd only scored one goal in three games, but this one, he got a hat-trick. Giving him an 8 out of 10. He is worth the coins. He's a brilliant cam. And that is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.